guys welcome to this channel in this video i'm going to help you set up auto gpt which is like an ai that can that can automatically brainstorm research and help you with recommendations in order to change your processes it can generate test cases look at your current processes and improve your current processes give you recommendations on what to do next help you identify great business ideas help you debug code create test cases etc so let's just quickly go ahead and try it out i'm going to quickly show you how to install it in your system so in order to install it just go to this github page where you can where you will find all of these files so a quick overview again it's a experimental open source application showcasing the capability of GPT-4 language model. Program driven by GPT-4 anonymously develops managed businesses to increase net, net worth. As one of the first examples of GPT-4 running autonomously, AutoGPT pushes the boundaries of what is possible with AI. So you may have seen Jarvis in Iron Man, right? Assuming this is something similar to that. It can identify what it wants to do next. It can identify what is wrong with that approach and then change the approach depending on what it needs to do next. So let's quickly install it in order to install. You need to download Git and Python in your computer. You need the initial setup done correctly in order for this to work. Once you have this done, just copy this GitHub URL. Go to a folder where you want to replicate all of this. Select the path and open cmd right so click here on the in the url and click cm and type cmd this will open the command prompt you now you need to say git clone and you need to put the url of the github that you just copied from the main page this will basically clone everything from that page in your local computer now you need to do a bunch of things firstly edit this and remove the template this basically will have information regarding all your API keys that you'll need to install. Open this file. You need three API keys, four, three or four API keys mandatorily, right? So it's Pinecone API key, OpenAI API key, and 11 Labs API key. Now, in order to get all three of these, here's what you need to do. So to get the OpenAI API key, just go to platform.openai.com. You need an account here. Then you can find the API key here. Click. Go ahead and create a new secret key. It will give you a key that you can use in order to use in the program. Once you are here, once you've created an account, click here, click on profile and you'll be able to find your API key here. Finally, for Pinecone, once you create an account, just go to the API key section and you'll be able to find your API key here. You also need to ensure that you choose the region correctly. Once you have all three of these details, just add them here, here, here and here respectively. Once you do this, your setup at this point is mostly done. Now, how do you run this, right? Go to the folder where you've done this setup. Again, go in command prompt and use this command python scripts main py which will run the program in order to run your program right so i had previously tried it with this and you can see it's come back here but i'm going to restart it just to show you how this works i'll click on no okay now first you need to enter the name of your ai i'm going to say i'm going to say yes gpt so this is the ai bot now the goal of this ai bot and i designed to help you scale and improve your products and help you improve in generative ai in general so that's what we do next you need to define five goals First is improve knowledge of generative AI, improve product adoption, processes, improve overall revenue. So these are the five goals. Now based on this, so this is the first input, right? What it went ahead and did is to start should I review your current product growth and processes to identify any areas of improvement. The browse website command may be useful for accessing our analytics and other data to facilitate. So you can see it kind of generated its own thoughts and it gave reasoning for those thoughts, right? Reviewing is essential for identifying, etc. Then plan is to use browser website command to review product growth and processes. Browse website command. The plan is to use browse website command to review product growth and processes. Use start agent command to create and message agent, com message agent command to gather information from it. Use write to file command to take notes. So then it also went ahead and criticized its own action. I need to make sure I'm focusing on the most important data to appropriately inform product growth moving from moving forward. Also, I should avoid delving into too deeply into areas and not considering others. So next action is command browse website arguments is you look at the analytics, question revenue growth over the past quarter user retention and popular features. So it's very open-ended. Let's say browse website is equal to open AI. Now, either you can authorize his their step by saying why, you can do why and non-interrupted, which is a continuous command, which means it will keep running end to exit the program 
or feedback, whatever you want, right? In last case, we went ahead and gave it a feedback to browse open AI. After browsing, I have found some relevant information on generative AI. However, I need more information. I use Google command to search for generative AI use cases. So it now recognized that I want to browse the open AI website. And then it kind of gave some thoughts, then reasoning on why it needs to do that. And then plan is to use Google to search generative AI use cases. So you now need to either authorize it to do this or you press end to exit the program. In our case, I'm going to say authorized by doing why. So now it will go to Google and look for argument with that specifically talk about generative AI use cases. Now, based on this, it will come up with a plan that can recommend certain growth strategies for open AI to stay up to date with everything that's happening in generative AI. Evaluating all the data that it found online with respect to this use cases. Now thinking what to kind of come up with as an option. So like, like I said, this is just an experimental model. You can, you can see it just broke, right? So you can see thoughts, the JSON body of thoughts, reasoning and criticism is broken. It was not able to parse it. You see, it's also saying warning, failed to parse AI output, attempting to fix. So automatically it's also trying to fix it. Now at this point, you can either exit or you can let it continue, right? So I'm going to say why. And I think we broke it. What I've also noticed is that when you just do Y and N, the program will be fine. It will constantly keep running because it's kind of predicts what to do next. But the minute you give some manual command, you'll see it breaks. And obviously this is not mature enough. Again, it created like an invalid JSON file. But if you look through the text, right? So after browsing our product pages and analyzing, you had identified some recommendations that can benefit from generative AI. The current system will use simple rule-based approach. Can I only recommendation previous purchases? I will use command to access by... Okay, so it kind of went ahead and you can see this part is the thoughts. Then it created reasoning till here. It created reasoning till here. And then it, there's the plan, right? Command to access our recommendation system, analyze code to identify areas for generative AI. And then it also kind of went ahead and created the critical criticism but you can see all of this is now broken and this is primarily because this is still a very experimental version this is not the final version of auto gp we'll try it one more time um, I'm, I'm just going to try and stop it from this point now you can either do an n here which will stop the program or you can do control c which will also stop the program i'm going to say n and it will exit the program you can also try running the same script again right it will it knows what you had asked it previously and it's going to retain that information let's just start with that and this time we'll let it run without us interrupting the program and i'll show you how different that is okay this time we're going to say y minus n which will continuously run the program without any human in, human intervention so apparently you need to do y minus n but looks like there is a problem right so it says y minus n but when i did y minus n it says y is small n let's try it with this Oh, okay, so where n is the number of continuous tasks. So let's say y minus 5. Now at this point, it is like an autopilot. It created an outline of our products using generative AI to come up with new ideas. And its next direction is to product ideas agent, brainstorming product ideas. What are some new and innovative ideas for product A that would meet customer requirements and be profitable? I'm going to stop it here. Effectively, what auto GPT is, I'm not sure about you. I honestly feel threatened by the kind of capability that at least it offers even in the experimental stage. I'm pretty sure after this point, all it has to do is scale up. So really, really excited for all the developments happening in generative AI. I to talk through this video itself. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. While it's kind of processing this, in case you're interested, consider joining our Discord channel.